Hi everyone. It's been a long time since I've checked in. I just thought I would take two minutes to, well, who are we kidding? More than two minutes uh, to check in with all of you. It's, it's been a while. Um, I'm not even sure where to begin, but today um, is Wednesday and it's two days after my 11th round of chemo. Um, I'm feeling okay. I'm coming at you all nice and raw. Um, I have quite a bit of red under my eyes. My nose is raw again, and I'm getting some really bad acne um, on my chest from what I assume is the Herbitex, the one that I know from the very beginning um, will give me a rash. So nice and raw for you all this morning, uh, but I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling a little run down today and my mom actually had kind of mentioned that I seemed a little depressed today and it kind of seemed like a good word to use because maybe I am a little bit. Um, it's just hard, you know, it's another week of chemo, another week of nothing tasting really good and nothing really making me feel better. So it's just kind of you know, I'm feeling a little blah today, but um, but before all of this, you know, just in the last couple of weeks, I've felt pretty good, you guys. I went on vacation, and that was really great, um, but I will say it was a lot harder than I had expected it to be. You know, I think I thought, oh, I'm going to go on vacation, and Gonna celebrate our cousins who had the most beautiful wedding and again I would have never wanted to miss it for the world and I'm so happy I got to be there but um, you know when we left Red Eye on Friday after Halloween um, I knew it would be a little hard on us already but what I didn't expect is for our flight to get canceled in Miami so we were supposed to arrive Friday Saturday morning before the wedding uh, like around 9.30, so we'd have the whole day to rest and settle in and then have um, Sunday for the wedding. Well, that didn't happen. Our flight got canceled uh, once we landed in Miami to Cancun, and we spent the entire day trying to get out of that airport. So we ended up getting a um, late night flight at around six o'clock that got us into Cancun for one in the morning uh, on Sunday morning. So we left Friday night at 9.30 at night and arrived at around 1 a.m. Didn't close our eyes until 3 a.m. Sunday morning. And then uh, we woke up in Cancun, which was great, but only on about five hours of sleep. Had breakfast, got ready. Both Kirk and I were in the wedding got the bride wedding um, and you know guys honestly the day of the wedding was amazing like I was so high on life and so happy to see everybody and just grateful to be there but then um, by the third day the next day after the wedding I kind of hit a brick wall and I think we all did we all were tired just for having a good time but it was just a brick wall like I've never felt before I um, there was really very very little I could do to um, feel better. So I rested and I relaxed and hung out with everybody, but again, it took me quite a bit to recover. Um, there was a lot of walking, a lot of sun. I, um, luckily stayed out of the sun and it was great, but I think what makes you sensitive to the sun as well is that, you know, when you spend the day out at the beach, you feel, um, exhausted just from the sun taking it out of you. So I think it kind of does that to you twice as much when you're on chemo. So again, everybody was like, oh my gosh, was your trip amazing? And and yes, it was, it was great. Um, it was a great trip. But what would have made it amazing is to be on vacation without being on chemo. So I think I look forward to those days. But again, the wedding was beautiful and thank you all for helping us get there. I wouldn't have wanted to miss it for the world. So I am beyond grateful, but I will tell you that I probably came back in worse shape than when I left. <laughs> so
So um, to roll into this round of chemo was a little hard. You guys, my dog is barking and I have to go and get her from outside real quick. I'll be right back. I'm back. So sorry for my little intermission. Real life sets in on these videos quite often. But, um, you feel better, Noah? So, um, what else has been happening? I think last time I saw you guys, I um, met with a genetic counselor for the girls. That was really great, and I should do a whole nother episode on that, or a uh, video on that, because it's just a lot of information. But we feel a lot better after meeting with the um, Radies Children's Hospital genetic counselor. So, we're really fortunate for that. Um, I had a few visitors and some friends visit from out of town and, and honestly, you guys, um, you know, we're just working into the holidays. So I, um, right now I'm supposed to get hit the week of Thanksgiving and the week of Christmas with chemo. And I've asked my doctors if I can, or my doctor and my nurses, if I could maybe push one more week so that I could get hit after. So... I'm hopeful for that. Um, I should know more information this week. And then what that will do is it will allow me um, a break without a big event in the middle. You know, I had my first break for the Emmys. I had another break for um, this vacation. So it'll be nice just to be able to hopefully be on a break and just actually be able to heal a little bit more. Um, I just found out with that I was nominated for a Guild Award for two. Um, I'm a part of a union in Los Angeles, the local 706 um, Makeup Artist and Hairstylist Guild. And in order to do what we do in this business, work on big movies and television shows, we have to be a part of a union and a guild. So, you know, the Screen Actors Guild Awards um, are very similar, you know, actors voting on one another um, so they're peers, you're voted in by your peers, and it's very similar for us. So I found out that I um, am amongst a really incredible group of people, and so that's been really, um, that was great news to come in on Monday. So that award show will be in January, so that's something to look forward to, past the holidays. And yeah, you guys, you know, I'm just over here um, planning for the future, trying to see maybe what life looks like after all of this and just raising the girls and taking it one day at a time still. You know, the break was lovely. Um, it was very hard to go back into chemo, but, um, you know, I realized that I have a job to do here and it's to heal myself. And so it's nice to get back to the schedule um, because I know that's what my body needs right now, as hard as it is. But they did lower my one of my chemos, uh, the oxaliplatin, which makes me sensitive to cold, which also um, causes neuropathy. And neuropathy is usually when you um, lose feeling and numbness, tingling in your fingers and toes, sometimes your legs and arms. Um, and their fear is, is that if you let it go too long, it can become permanent damage. So right now I um, have my thumbs before I left for the trip, I noticed were tingling and not going away like it usually would. And it's since then moved to my pointer fingers and my middle fingers. So um, they scaled back about 40%. And I think that I noticed a big difference just in my um, recovery this week. You know, I don't feel quite as beaten down, even though I'm really tired. Um, but I am um, seeing an acupuncturist this week to hopefully um, help with those side effects with the scaling back of the chemo. So that's good. Um, what else? Oh, this might be too much information, but I mean, I've shared just about everything with you guys. I actually um, started my period and that might be too much for you and I'm sorry. But what's really crazy about that is at the beginning of all of this, they said that I might be thrown into menopause. So I kind of expected to never have one again. 
being that I was pregnant for nine, 10 months. I was postpartum and then straight into this. So I really kind of didn't ex see that coming. <laughs> so um, that was a surprise this week, but it kind of feels like a good surprise in some ways because maybe my body's still able to function like a healthy woman um, in some ways. So it kind of confuses me on my, uh, Mm, what, I, what I was using as an excuse as my menopause mustache because I've had an abnormal amount of hair growth on my face through this experience. But, um, so I don't know if I can hold on to the menopause part anymore. Hmm. Anyways, so that might be wiping me out a little bit more. Um, you guys, we're doing good. You know, we have a lot of help and a lot of support. My mom is leaving here shortly and um, then we'll have my mother-in-law come back into town and hopefully finish out the year. So um, we love you all, we feel you all, we see you all and the support is still coming in like crazy and and I still could use it. I um, It's a little harder right now, I think just because I'm really tired, but um, Guys, we're getting through it, and I know it's working. I know it's working. I, I should get another PET scan at the end of um, December, so before the New Year's, so that'll be a really good check-in, but my stomach feels a lot smaller and softer, and you guys, it, it's working, and that's all I can do. I'm still working with spiritual healings, and my diet, I've kind of cracked down a little bit, I was getting a little loosey-goosey on all that sugar, but um, tighten it back up again. So I think that will help, and we just keep doing and adding extra things here and there. So I think maybe when I'm feeling a little bit better, I'll check back in with you guys after um, this round of chemo and try and catch back up and, and fill you guys in on some other stuff that we've been doing. But I also think what I'm gonna start doing as well is um, interviewing other people. Uh, that might be going through some similar situations that I am um, to kind of hear other people's stories and, and have them share their journeys and maybe just continue to help one another. So here's to the future and here's to growing this page and the support and love for one another. And remember, be kind to each other because you never know when that person one day might save your life. Thank you and I hope you guys have a beautiful week.